Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So, it is time for a primitive decor uh, video for you guys. So, I'm going to go over a few new things that I have gotten over the past couple months or so. Um, so, we'll just start out right here. We went to Old Time Pottery a few weeks ago. And I got this wooden Uncle Sam. I think he was around $50 or so. But anyway, you guys know um, I really love the fall ones. I have a lot of the pumpkins. Um, and I just got a Black Crow last fall. So I really like these little wooden, um, wooden decor, I guess is what you could call it. So had to have him to get my 4th of July um, collection going on with those and also at Old Time Pottery I picked up two of these primitive looking um, garden flags they were $7.99 a piece I, was, I really like these two because they looked country and primitive And so what I'm getting ready to do is I've drug my little primitive Christmas tree out and I had twinkle lights on it before the same lights but they um, went out on me so yesterday I went to the Rusty Rooster in Bardstown I often talk about that place my favorite store in Bardstown and um, I was able to get two boxes two new boxes of those lights now I don't have them twinkling or flashing uh, I don't know I just decided I like the look of them just steady on so I'm going to decorate this tree for the different holidays and seasons it will stay up year round this was my grandma's tree actually I got a lot of stuff from my grandma if You've been following me I say following me for a while I say that often but anyway I'm getting ready to decorate it for of course the 4th of July Americana and I wanted to go over just a few of the things I'll be using so I did go to Hobby Lobby yesterday and their 4th of July decor is 40% off um, I figured it would be 50 by now but I'll take it so I've got five of these, I forget what they call them, are they picks? Yeah, so four of these red, white, and blue berry picks. They were $4.49, but 40% off of that. I'm not a math person, but I thought that was a pretty good deal. Also got two of these berry rings, and I put these, um, these are going to go on the fireplace. I have two lamps on the fireplace, and those will go around each of those. Hopefully the camera is picking all this up. It's dark. I need, I got a light bulb out, out y'all, so... I'm hoping this video isn't too dark, but anyway, these were $3.49, uh, 40% off, and I thought these bells were adorable. Um, they got that primitive look, colors, and almost crackled paint. Um, those are $2.99 a piece, of course, 40% off of that. Got six of those. And these little primitive pillow ornaments, um, I got those at the Rusty Rooster. These um, sequined flags here were from last year. My mom got these for me at Home Goods. And then I just had a cheap package of these little American flags. And I tea stained them to give them that uh, primitive look. I want to get more of those and do 
do that again. Alright, and just some odor decor that I had in the tote. Here's an American flag that needs to be glued or stapled up there. Um, I've had these for years. Gosh. Um, I was looking for a date on them. Hobby Lobby, I want to say either 2006 or 2007. Um, but they got that primitive look. Some more stars here. And not sure what I want to do with this 4th of July berry wreath. But anyway, I'll be doing that soon. I don't want to make the whole video about this tree because I've got other primitive goodies to share with you guys. Um, like this window here. I got this. Um, I went to Kings Island with my mom last weekend. Um, actually, Monday and Tuesday. Last week, um, Monday we went to Kings Island, and Tuesday we hit up some shops on the way back. And uh, we stopped at Ohio Valley Antiques, which I've heard about before, and it is huge. So that was a lot of fun. Um, one of the things I got there was this primitive um, antique window. I believe this was like $10. So I really like the look at that. Had to have that. So let's go out in the shed, you guys, and I will show you guys what I got, what else I got at um, Ohio Valley Antiques. All right. This so this is my little um, <laughs> primitive shop, antique shop. Um, I call it my me shed sometimes, so if you're new, uh, just in case you're new, that is where we are. This is attached to our garage. But anyway, um, also at that Ohio Valley Antiques, I picked up this red, beautiful red um, screen door. I think this was 45 But I love it. I love screen doors. I like the color on it. And I told my mom in my next house, um, I've seen this done before where uh, the kitchen pantry, instead of putting pantry doors or like glass doors, um, I want to use a screen door. So that is that. Try not to make you guys sick. So I also picked up this little frame here. This was probably a, I don't know, screen window or window and the glass broke out of it. Actually, I think it was screen because I can see some of the screen left in there. But I believe this was like $5. And what people are doing now is they're taking the frames of the old antique windows and they're buying prints canvases um you know different pictures and they're putting them in these uh antique um window frames so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this but for five dollars i couldn't beat that i'm gonna sit this right over here okay now these sheets of metal here I just love the look of them. You guys know, if you have been following following me a while, you know that I love the rust. Anything rusty and galvanized. So, there are two sheets here of this, um, what do you call, is it galvanized metal? Or, it's kind of got that, um, ripple on it. But anyway, these were nine, $9.99 or something like that a piece. And they had bigger sheets, but um, we couldn't get those in the truck. Surprisingly, they were probably double the length of these. But anyway, for $9, could not beat that. Um, you know, year-round, I can use these for, you know, in here or that country rustic look for my shed. 
Um, my mom also was thinking um, for the haunts, the walkthrough. I could use these in like um, the swamp scene or the swamp shack, something like that. And then probably the best deal that day, um, if you guys can see this, this is a huge antique window. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the glass, but it's like kind of beveled like, so you know it's old. When the glass has that look to it but um we were just shocked at the price they sold this big window and it does have glass in it <laughs> it's hard to see in the video um but they were selling this for 24.99 uh, or something like that so that was a huge steal for this size of a window all right just for a better look i moved those uh, metal sheets so you can get a good idea how large this window is And it's black on the back side um, So one of these days probably not at this house, but if I get um, a little more property I would love to make a greenhouse out of all these old antique windows and wouldn't this be a lovely window to put on the back on the back um, wall and put your potting bench under it all right so one of these days guys I'm gonna get out here and clean up my little shed I've got it decorated all up for summer and spring so I haven't done a video out here in a while and for those of you that don't understand what's going on out here, this is just um, <laughs> my pretend country store, I guess you could call it. Um, I don't know. I guess sometimes people never grow up. But anyway, this is just my, my kind of me space of things that I like. Alright friends, we're going to go back inside because I wanted to show you a few more things. Alright guys, we're in the living room now, and I just wanted to show you some of the 4th of July decorations we have. Instead of doing a separate video, I don't have as much 4th of July decor like we do Christmas and Halloween, so I thought I would just fit it in this video here. The Pledge of Allegiance sign. This is Miss Ava. Say hello to Addington. Here is the mantle. And these are the lights that I was talking about putting, putting those red, white, and blue berry rings on and I also um, at the place in Ohio 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 Valley Antiques um, I got a metal bird bath that's outside and in the store or the booth they had greenery in it but of course that was separate but anyway, uh, yesterday I was in the Hobby Lobby and was wanting the same effect, so I picked this up. But for some reason, when I brought it in, I stuck it in this old crock, and now I really love it in there. So that's definitely going to stay there. I'm thinking about going back to Hobby Lobby and getting more of this.
because I was thinking about putting some of it around our light or maybe on the cabinets. I don't know. All right, friends, let's go in the little bedroom real quick. And I wanted to show you how the uh, twin bed turned out. But before we do that, one last thing yesterday. Um, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. Their galvanized decor is 50% uh, off. So this is original 30. I got it for 15. I think I'm going to get some kind of um, fake pie to put in there. Just a couple more 4th of July pieces. Alright guys, don't judge me. This room is a mess and it's kind of dark because we've got two bulbs out in here as well. I'm telling you when it rains it pours, right? So here is the twin bed that was once Cherry painted this outside yesterday. You guys might have seen that video. And I used the Rust-Oleum Flat Black. And I'm really in love with the that spray paint. <laughs> it is really nice. And it went on way better than I thought it would. So yeah, I'm working on this room, you guys. Um, I'll do a separate video when I get all this together. But I'm loving the black in here. Paint color is new. Uh, uh, Benjamin Moore Navajo white is the paint color in case anyone might ask Painted it this spring And also new I haven't showed you guys this or maybe I have um, Rusty rooster picture of some sheep So that is new as well Billy Jacob print there, as well as that one. I collect Billy Jacob prints. We actually have three in here. Don't judge my mess, y'all. <laughs> but here is another Billy Jacob print as well. Alright, friends. I think that is all of the Primitive Hall items for this couple of months or so so if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching um if you have any friends or family that would be um that would enjoy my channel i do lots of stuff from halloween to gardening to primitive decor so if you have any friends or family that would enjoy that kind of content please send them my, my way Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.